fucking hell, here we go. <laughs> My name's Alex and I've been in the hairdressing industry now for 25 years. So I opened up Teddy Edwards in March of 2013 with just the one shop and it was just myself for the first six months and gradually over time built up a good strong team and then in 2015 opened up the second shop and we've been growing ever since. What we have is instead of customer service, it's more about the experience, and that's what we and that's what we deliver. So with this project, what I wanted to do was show really how a barber shop is built, is that it can be done and you can achieve high results. And basically, I've done all this myself with the support of a good team around me. Okay, so um, just been to the solicitors, which is located just over there. And I've just picked up the lease agreement. Hmm. I can't actually believe it's happening. We've managed to get the unit next door at Seven Dials, uh, number 85 Dyke Rose. So it's directly next door to the existing shop. And we're going to deck it out, we're going to completely renovate it, and we're going to bring to life uh, possibly like one of the best barber shops in the country. Yeah. yeah, I'm a little bit stuck for words at the moment. It's weird. It's sort of like I've had my eye on that unit for five years. So I, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love, I love the little shoe box, but that's where Teddy started, and that's where all, like the blood, sweat, and tears has happened. But to actually get that unit, and it's now actually starting to feel a little bit more real. Not about like being the best shop. You know, it's about doing something that you sort of think is like the right thing to do. And like, it's why you want to do it. You know, it's not about sort of doing like the most incredible haircuts. It's how people are treated. It's how things should be done. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Five years in the waiting. This is our new shop. Look. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, today just really getting the ball rolling with getting all the tradesmen in place, organising everything and just trying to formulate a uh, just a solid plan for the project. It's throwing up a few little sort of hitches, but that's what you get with really old properties, especially in Brighton. You've got to roll with the punches a little bit. But... <laughs> Even though I've done this twice now, I still didn't really know where or what I was going to do, how we were going to go about it. But speaking to these guys now, it's kind of already consolidated. It's, it's finding out sort of where, where do you start? But now obviously ideas are formulating and we're rolling with a few different things that have now been put before us. And discovering stuff like this is always quite interesting. So yeah, it's really just a case of stripping it all back and getting it all covered up. Yeah, I've got to uh, roll my sleeves up, get dirty. Nice, <laughs> right.